Hi everyone. Uh, now we'll see uh, the composition of the bone cement. So uh, basically, the bone cement has uh, two part. One is a liquid component, and one is powder com com component. So uh, what are the uh, further components of the uh, liquid part? They are uh, the things are uh, monomer, accelerator, stabilizer, and colorant. So um, this is very confusing. Uh, which uh, Uh, property is there in liquid component and which is uh, there in powder so you can uh, and in exams uh, it is uh, asked very specifically so you can uh, remember a mnemonic that is cast liquid uh, uh, cast for liquid com component and air for powder component So what is cast? C for colorant. Colorant uh, is chlorophyll. A for accelerator. N and dimethyl p-toluidine. Dimethyl p-toluidine. Dm p-toluidine. And ST for stabilizer. That is hydroquinone. So uh, hydroquinone has hydro. Uh, means water. Water is stabilizer. You can remember with this uh, trick. So stabilizer is hy hydroquinone. And in powder comp uh, component a for uh, antibiotic that we use gentamicin and initiator is benzyl peroxidase and radio opaque is barium sulfate or zirconium and polymer is pol uh, polymethyl methacrylate and in liquid comp component monomer is there so metha uh, methyl methacrylate now here is a graph of uh, temperature versus uh, time uh, when we uh, mix the both uh, liquid uh, component with the powder component so uh, in around uh, 10 minutes it uh, reaches to its maximum uh, temperature that is around 93 degrees celsius and it cools down and uh, remain at 21 degree for the rest of the day so uh, the time is divided into do, do time working time and setting time setting time is nothing but the uh, do time plus working time is setting time and what is do time do time is last till cement does not uh, does not stick to the surgical gloves it is 2 to 3 minutes so in graph uh, the a represents the do time and uh, here b is working time and that uh, then it starts heating up and uh after some time it uh, cools down and remains uh, at the 21 degree celsius for the rest of the day with us to increase working time so working time is the time uh, when we uh, start putting the bone cement uh, where we have to use it so if uh, if the working time will be uh, will increase and then we, we will have more time to uh, uh fix the the proper positioning uh, do the proper proper positioning of the implant or whatever work we are uh, doing with the bone cement so slow mixing speed increases the working time decrease temperature of cement increases the working time decrease humidity of ot and large cement particle size uh, increases the working time and uh, based on some criteria uh, we divide uh, uh, the uh, bone cement technique into generation first and second and third generation in first generation cement the uh, finger packing was being done in second generation uh, using cement gun uh, retrograde packing uh, is done and uh, in third generation uh, the use of vacuum mixing with centrifugation is there and in first generation no canal preparation and in second generation bone bed Uh, preparation is being done with syringe irrigation and drying system, and in third generation we use uh, pulsatile lavas for this.
फर्स्ट जनरेशन सीमेंट डिजिटल प्रेशराइजेशन फॉर द मेथड and in second generation it is femoral and acetabular cement pressurization and uh, almost same with the third generation femoral pressurization and uh, acetabular pressurization in first generation unplugged uh, femur um, is unplugged and distal uh, cement restrictor we use in second uh, generation and distal cement restrictor is being uh, is used in third generation of cementing and mixing of cement is there in first generation in second generation open at atmosphere uh, cement mixing by hand and in third generation we uh, generation we use uh, vacuum mixing and uh, cement spacer so what is uh, uh, pre -cool, pre cooling pre cooling is uh, decreases number of pores vacuum mi uh, vacuum mixing uh, increases bending strength and centrifugation uh, increases uh, fatigue strength centrifugation fatigue strength and vacuum mixing it incre increases bending strength and what are the use of cement we use in orthoplasty in kyphoplasty we use vertebroplasty as a uh, spacer after removal of infected prosthesis we use bone cement for augmentation of screw in osteoporotic bone and for making antibiotic and delivering system contraindication of cement bone cement is current uh, hypersensitivity hypersensitivity and acute infection at the site of use and uh, antibiotic impregnant bone uh, bone cement characteristic of antibiotic it should be thermostable water soluble bactericidal minimum allergic property antibiotic property not affected by temperature and gradual uh, release of antibiotic and fa uh, factor affecting elution of antibiotic from the bone cement is surface roughness porosity and co concentration of antibiotic so these are the factors which uh, affects the elution of the antibiotic from the bone cement so in this video we see uh, saw the uh, composition of bone cement and the draw time and working time and then uh, the uh, generation of the cement and what are the um, use of bone cement and the factors uh, affecting the elution of antibiotic thank you